Hi everyone. Today's chapter is about bliss food. So, um, first of all, I'm going to share with you um, uh, my way of uh, um, blissing my food. Uh, so, I say bliss uh, because uh, uh, instead of blessing the food, because bliss uh, it's uh, more uh, correct to speak it, because bless it means be less. And bliss is really bliss. So I'm blissing my food uh, through a technique that I learned uh, first that I was doing always Reiki. So it means that I'm always taking my hands and then uh, um, place uh, in between my um, in between my hand, my two hands, uh, the uh, the food that I'm about to prepare. It's better to to do it before even I start eating it. It's best. And, uh, and then I, it evolved in, in another technique that I have learned from, from Hollow Earth. It's like a, a, a being uh, that is um, channeling information from Hollow Earth beings that live uh, inside the Earth. So uh, the information is about uh, putting uh, the left hand in a shape like that. It creates like a spiral, a spiral, and then the other hand like this. And then, and then uh, we can um, bliss any any food or water or anything you want like that. So keeping your hands like that, and then inhaling in and out, one, two, three, four times like that. And then you can see the energy coming out of our hands, and then blissing our food or our drinks. This also has the incredible power of purifying. So, so the left hand. It is uh, for uh, the North Hemisphere, we have the left hand like that and the right like that. And then for the South Hemisphere, we, we change. So for, for you, for me, my right is your right. So it seems like it is your right, but actually it's in the South Hemisphere, I repeat again, we have uh, the right hand and the, and, the, and the left hand like that for both of us. And then for the North Hemisphere, the left hand creating the spiral like that and then the right the right hand like that so this is how i i what i do daily for blessing my my food and uh, what i'm also doing is uh, um, i'm probably you also do you also do that but i like to say uh, before i eat may every woman man and child on the planet uh, have uh, the same pleasure that I have when I eat when I eat food and have uh, as much food as I have on the tables and it's a blessing ascent so with every bite that I'm taking I'm uh, I'm sending out this intention so so everybody on the planet uh, uh, is uh, having enough of food and water and clean clean water to drink so I can feel it when I'm doing this um, simple thought before I eat. I can feel also that my my food is even more blessed with uh, love. And uh, since I'm outside here, uh, I want to speak of another form of food, the prana. So uh, the prana is all around us. It's also in the air. And uh, during the ascension process, uh, there is uh, there is like um, a moment in our process that uh, the need for sustenance is becoming less and less. So the more we uh, keep on working on raising our frequency, our vibration, the more the light we ingest, the prana. Yeah, light is uh, prana is oxygen and light together. So uh, and the more, of course, when you sit in in forest like that, and uh, there is like this is rich with prana here, um, uh, the more we raise a frequency like that, the more uh, the appetite for sustenance uh, dim um, diminishes, because uh, it makes sense uh, as we evolve that uh, the more that our our uh, cells get transformed from carbon based to crystalline based the more this uh, has as a result to be, to be less hungry, to also uh, have less uh, need to drink as well. I know already a small group of people around the, on the planet, uh, including somebody that uh, is pretty famous on YouTube, that he doesn't need to drink and he doesn't need to eat already. And he's very healthy. He's been doing this for many years already, or more than 20 years already. And he shares uh, some... Uh, uh, 
very powerful ways to do it. I don't say go there yourselves or me uh, because everybody again has their own process of, of uh, evolution and uh, um, nobody but ourselves knows what is best for ourselves. It's because we come from different environments and we live in a different geographical positions on the planet who have different energetic patterns so we must embrace where we stand in our journey without trying to copy others or imitate others when it doesn't um, resonate with our being and at the same time i always say enjoy the process along the way uh, i can tell you already that sometimes i'm feeling like uh, um, uh, i don't want to eat but i'm still eating a little bit because uh, i enjoy food i love food so i embrace myself for that i'm not holding myself uh, back and say oh you know uh, judging myself about this i just embrace the process and move along with that and that works more than fine for me and I invite you to do the same. This is a process that we learn and um, uh, enjoying along, along the way, it's perfect. And maybe for some it will be okay, I don't want to eat anymore. So I want to try for a few days, have no food in my body, let's see what happens. And, uh, and uh, it's possible, so uh, everything is possible. It is all about the number the amount of light uh, one is uh, a, a capable of absorbing so i will go even go to the to the uh, um, um, to the to the realization for me for, to the perspective that for me um, when uh, it, it can be dangerous if you try to go too hard on this i have been through that i tried to be uh, to do fasting for a long long period and uh, and it was dangerous for me and so my body was not ready for that, and uh, and that's why I always say start with small, with small uh, uh, habits that uh, uh, that to implement this instead instead of of doing radical changes. Calimera. And and so uh, um, the uh, next thing I want to speak is uh, about. Um, um, creating um, um, new uh, pathways in our uh, in our evolution and uh, that also has to has to do with uh, with food it means that um, we are each capable of creating what is that wish every moment so we can send out this intention and say for example um, I want to uh, to uh, enjoy food and also be able to ascend smoothly so I still want to be able to enjoy food and I don't want to just completely go into this uh, absorbing light. Maybe somebody else says, I want to just do that. So the intention is, is it's super important. So, so we create our own reality and therefore uh, um, from, from that perspective, we can always also shift what is that we, uh, uh, where, where, where does we want to go? It doesn't mean that this will delay a lot process of evolution. It's just a different path to go there. And enjoying the process along the way, whatever we choose has a reason to be. And uh, for as long as we enjoy it, I say, keep on doing it and then, and then, and then turn the page. And, and every day try something different. Every day try something new. And, uh, and then, uh, like that, uh, you, you, you can always go and feel how this feels. Because in the end of the day, it's all about how this feels. How does it feel any given moment? How does it feel before I eat this food? How does it feel after I eat this food? And how do I feel generally uh, when, I'm, when I'm blessing my food or if I'm not blessing my food? So, blessing, blessing my food. So... Uh, that's about it, about blessing, blessing our food. I wish you to have uh, the most amazing blessed uh, food uh, at all times and uh, sharing the abundance of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, food with your loved ones and all around the planet that everybody sh can be prosperous and abundant. There is no more hunger on the planet. This is my wish that I'm also sending through this, uh, through this uh, mini uh, course here that everybody is uh, having enough of everything on the table to eat and uh, drinks and uh, water to drink. Namaste.